pass SQL exam 70-461 and job interview programming SQL Server 2012. This is Karl Mantov. This is my new book. It is preparation for Microsoft Certification Exam 70-461. Also preparation for job interview and preparation for a career as a database developer. You can purchase the book at this order link or on Amazon.com, this is the ISBN number, or searching on the exam number, or searching on my name. We are going to import a flat file to the AdventureWorks 2012 database. This is how the flat file looks. It's uh, the first line is the headers, the second line and on are the data lines and we see double quotes uh, surrounding values. So we fire up the SSIS wizard, tasks, import data. And the data source is a flat file we have to enter the name of a flat file. Delimited tax qualifier, that is a double quote. Header row delimiter is carriage return line feed. This is pretty standard. We are not skipping any rows. Column names in the first data row. There is a warning. Columns are not defined because it's a flat file. There is no definition for the columns. It looks okay. Now we can do some uh, definition at this point and we have a second mapping occasion opportunity. The data types look strange. The reason is these are SSIS data types. So for example we do 4 by signed integer and for list price we are going to change it to currency. Now if we don't change the mapping it maps as character 50. So text 50 that's how it's going to come through. We have a second chance coming up to change mapping preview. It looks good. Next Next, so this is what's suggested, and uh, let's uh, change it product test. We can edit mappings, so this is our second chance. We see product ID maps correctly, and uh, list price also. Let's change standard cost to money. Now here we have a familiar data types, SQL Server data types. Let's change modify date to date time. We can also edit the SQL. We can change the create table statement. OK, preview. It looks good, but the proof of a pudding is when we are actually doing the import. It may look good now, which is very promising, but uh, any data inconsistency may cause trouble. We even get some warnings. Next, finish, finish. Ah, we are lucky. The transfer was successful. So let's check it out. Select star from product test. 
execute. So it looks okay. It looks like we got a good transfer. Here is the list price and the standard cost. And also here is the modified date which uh, we remapped. Now what happens to the columns which we did not remap? Well, we have a second opportunity now when we move the data to final destination to do the final mapping. In summary, SSIS Import Export Wizard is a very good, a very powerful tool for uh, moving uh, data. This is the end of the short demonstration.